All right, and welcome to the third party Transformer News for Retro Robot Radio for the date of February 7th, 2016. First thing we're going to look at today is that uh, Bad Cube has shown off uh, the first images of their upcoming OST Special 01 Sentinel Blaze. Now, this is a recolor of Sun Surge in the red Diaclone. Uh, release. I also remember this at, from my childhood as the Diacron 1 toy. Uh, that was a toy put out by Takara the year before Transformers, and I collected a lot of those. So it's kind of neat to see uh, the figure the way I remember him from my childhood. Be uh, Beelzeboss showed off uh, three prototype figures. One is their uh, uh, upgrade kit for the Combiner Wars Optimus Prime, one for Generations Nightbeat, and one for the uh, Generations Trail Cutter, Trail Breaker figure. Uh, these are all eagerly awaited by the fans, and hopefully we'll be seeing them sometime soon now that they're in prototype. Fans Project showed off a test shot of their upcoming Lost Exo Realm female Dinobot. This one turns into a Pachycephalosaurus, and you can see there, you can see the dinosaur head there on her back. So we're looking forward to finding out more about this character. Also, a fans project showed off, uh, this is an unpainted test shot of their Diatlas Samaj. We don't know the name of this one yet, I think, um, but it's looking pretty good. And we got uh, the full color painted version of their uh, Tranix Alpha, which is their version of Dia Battles. And also the War Within Decepticon named Stormbringer, uh, who was based on Dia Battles. So you can see there's a lot of good detail on it. I got a few photos of this one. But as you can see here, the uh, Solaron figures, which are the little uh, Heart Masters that fit on the chest of Steel Core and other figures in the line. He has three of them, actually. One on his chest, and then one on each shoulder, and they're each a little different. Um, here you can see uh, close-ups of the three different Solarons in their uh, combined mode. There's a back view of the figure. You can see it's actually three vehicles that are combined. And word is that they actually turn into a one super vehicle as well. Uh, you can see here, this is after you remove the Solaron figure from the shoulder, you can actually close up the shoulder and uh, make it not look like a big empty area inside. And here are the three vehicles themselves. I call them the uh, GoBots Mighty Cycle, the uh, Zamboni of Doom, and the Big Nose Cannon. GCI Toys has been showing off a, a couple of uh, guns that they're working out for the Bruticus Combiner Wars Combiner. These are uh, supposed to be bat cannons and, uh, and a big gun for him. They also have these two smaller cannons that uh, come with a bunch of handguns for the individual Combaticons, most of which are based on the handguns that the uh, G1 Combaticons came out with. And also they will feature 5mm pegs and holes so you can post them together into a giant super gun if you'd like, which I always enjoy. We got our first look at the G Creation Blade figure that's going to be coming out soon. That's the fourth in their five Dinobot combiner who will form an arm of Shuriking, which I've been looking up and ends up that, I believe, is the name used for the combiner of the Dinobot combiner from Star Rescue Team in China. So they kind of picked the name from that. Uh, Generation Toy showed off a Ghost Leader figure. I'm not sure if this is a. Uh, limited run or just a one-off special or something they're going to be releasing but Ghost Leader is of course a ghost version of Scrapper now for those of you who don't read the IDW comic books will be scratching your head but in the IDW comics Scrapper was killed so that's kind of a little nod there to have him be ghost version just announced before this show was recorded was the uh, Garatron Gangs of Devil uh, version of Unicron called Galaxy Demolisher. Uh, this is a uh, pretty big version of Unicron coming out, and it will have uh, internal lighting from the looks of things. Uh, here's a look at the alternate mode with the uh, ring attached. I'm not sure how that works into the uh, alternate modes. 
but here you can see a comparison with the Cybertron Primus figure and even has a little moon uh, accessory and it will have little claw and drill that come out of the uh, uh, planet mode and the moon actually transforms into a little gun that uh, Unicron can hold. You can see he's quite a bit larger than the uh, Cybertron Primus in robot mode and about the same size as uh, uh, Unicron himself. And you can see that this is actually based on the uh, unreleased Beast Roars uh, Neo Unicron mold and it follows it pretty darn closely. Uh, Hero Toys Maker showed off a color test shot of their coming up uh, smallest Transformers tracks figure. This is based on the Generation 1 uh, transformation and is a little teeny guy the size of uh, smallest Prowl and all them. We have uh, final uh, images of the Maki Toys Wrestle figure which is going to be coming out directly from their website soon. And also our first looks at uh, Maki Toys Despotron, which is their version of a masterpiece Megatron. And yeah, it'll have a real, real looking gun mode there. I'm not sure how they're going to get away with that without having to put uh, permanently affixed uh, neon somewhere on the barrel tip. We'll have to see. And also we got our first outlook at uh, the Howling Meteor figure from Remasters um, Maki Toys which is going to be their version of Starscream. It seems like a lot of people are doing Masterpiece Seekers, seeing that they can do better than uh, Takara did. Perfect Effect showed off their Perfect Combiner PC-10 set upgrade kit for CW Military Bot. I guess that's code for Bruno. It's essentially a uh, replacement head, some big back cannons, and a uh, gun stock for Shockwave. They're also showing off their upgrade kit for CW CompuBot, which is a new head, chest, and rifle for Computron. I have some criticism. This does help out Computron quite a bit, but he still has the long antenna from Superion, which Computron actually had a little short, stumpy antenna. That's one of the things that made it different. And also the gun here is a gun right from their Bruticus upgrade, not a gun modeled after Computron. So twice on it, they pulled from other kits instead of making something original. That's The head still has Superion's antenna, and the gun is right out of Bruticus. Isn't that the problem with Computron, is that he's taken too much from other figures instead of being original from Hasbro? Yeah, so perfect effect, you know, you might want to cut those antenna and give him a better gun. Also, there will be a uh, hands and feet set for the uh, Computron combiner that are colored to match the uh, combined form of a Computron. For those of you who don't like your Betatron running around with weird colored hands and feet and such. We're also going to get a recolor of the PC-08 called the PC-080. This is uh, basically a white version of the set for the Optimus Prime combiner that uh, will go with the Battlecore Optimus Prime. And we're getting a G2 version of their Superion upgrade called the CW G2 Superbot. Um, yep, yeah, so that's the colors that uh, work good for uh, for G2 Superion. Now, as I recall, the colors on G2 Bruticus, his limbs were black anyway, so you can pretty much use the PC-01. And I can only guess that sometime in the future we're going to see an upgrade set for G2 Menasaur. We got this new image from Toy World recently where they showed off their Constructor combiner. You can see him here next to the slightly shorter uh, Hasbro Takara Devastator and the much shorter TFC Hercules. So if you want the biggest Devastator, Toy World's Constructor seems to be the character you want to collect, but it's not cheap. X Transbots had a couple of uh, new reveals this week. Uh, going to be coming out soon are their Warrior Boost and Scout Hatch, which is their versions of uh, a Wind Charger and uh, Tailgate. And from what I heard, there's going to be two different decos of these. One's the more cartoony deco and one's the more toy deco. I think one's uh, more metallic and one's uh, more of a flat paint. 
And here you can see the uh, test shots of the two figures. They will come with alternate faces. Uh, I think uh, Tailgate has an alternate chest. Uh, Wind Charger comes with a little uh, magnetic flashlight. They both come with handguns. And here you can see the alternate mode for boost and the alternate mode for hatch. And by the way, on the bottom of the box for boost and hatch is the teaser for their upcoming what looks to be cliff jumper and hubcap. They're also going to be releasing in X-Transbots their Arcos figure, which is their version of Beachcomber, who will come with a lot of little accessories. I think he has a little bird and a little golden hand and such like that. Also, X-Transbots showed off that they uh, accidentally left a step out of the transformation uh, instructions, so they're posting that online for anyone who needs to have the full instructions to transform their figure. So, what did you think of the reveals this week? Or is there anything that you plan on getting? Anything you change? Um, let me know in the comments. This week's news brought to you from the pages of tformers.com and TFW2005. News read by Matthew Ignash. Stop by wikialpha.org to read more about third-party Transformers. Check out the Facebook page of the third-party TF Crashers. And then come on by the Retro Robot Radio YouTube channel and subscribe.